you love to shop vintage boutiques and flea market sales, you tell us that, but finding just the right thing, that can be tricky. That's where online shopping can actually come in handy. Just sort and comb through items in every style. We're giving you today five great places to start. Jennifer Reed is here to share the thrill of the online hunt. It's so good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm an online shopping girl. I mean, give me grocery pickup, all my clothes. I'm ordering awesome. through the World Wide Web. But when it comes to vintage treasures, isn't part of the charm and the thrill of it the hunt? Like going to a little boutique and rummaging? I think absolutely. Like, yeah, you love to go and I'm all of those things. Love to dig, love to see it. But sometimes, I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but sometimes I'll be reading a magazine. I'll be like super inspired by something that I see like a vignette or just the way they put something together. They just had that special something. And then all of a sudden I'm like, I have to have that. I need that now. I need that right this minute. <laughs> and so that's why it's so perfect and that vintage is really online, you know, and you're able to go and search, you know, so there might not be a flea market like that day or even that weekend, mm -hmm. but like if you have that immediate need to fill, it's so great to be able to go to some sites. So it speaks not just to our impatience, there's yes. that, but also maybe our timeline. Yes. If yeah. If we have a timeline or a yeah. deadline that we're working You know, toward. I think especially like for me, like I feel like I shop online more like around the holidays you know um, and also people are making things look really good I mean you may not actually see it and be there in person and touch it but I think the way that people display things in their online shops is great we've asked you to share five of your favorite online vintage shops what was your criteria for this yeah I think for, there's a lot of different things I look for things that are interesting um, always good price right sure. you always want to find a great price like if you know shipping comes into play for sure. Totally, if you're yeah, doing a bigger size exactly, item or a weighty item. Exactly, so those are kind of the things that I look for. Can we jump in? Yeah, let's I'm so do it. excited. I have not heard of any of these. Okay, I can't wait great. to check them out. Gallivanting Girls tops your list. Yes, I love this shop. It's um, um, it's from a girl, a woman, not a girl, woman. Girl sounds girl, fun, Yeah, it? that's right, let's, she's a girl. <laughs> um, and she's based out of Brooklyn. And so the reason I love her shop is I feel like um, she, has, she has some real trendy things going on. On. Like, you know, some of those um, urban places, it's kind of nice to see what's happening there, what's um, what's really important there. So you get vintage items in an urban New York setting. Exactly. And that twists your brain a yeah, little bit. Exactly. Yeah. Cool items, cool artifacts. Yeah, yeah. And so she has like some traditional things, but maybe different colors. The other reason I love her is she takes vintage um, and she kind of puts a twist on it. Like one of my most favorite things that I've seen in her shop is a cuckoo clock, which we think of as a little old fashioned, but she painted it all these amazing, bright, fabulous colors oh and kind goodness. of reinvented it. That puts a smile so, on your face, I know, right? It? Like that on a wall would look so amazing and fun. And so she does really fun and interesting things with vintage. Grandma's cuckoo clock has never looked so exactly. cool. And, and that's honestly, like if you look at that, I mean, I hate to say that, but that is something it's inspiring too. Like maybe you could do it. You know, I, get a absolutely. cuckoo clock and paint it. Peaks so. your brain, get yeah. your juices going. Smearling Antiques, based out of Europe, I understand. Yes, okay, so I have to admit, like, I'm pretty obsessed with, like, all things Europe right now. I just got back from a European oh, trip. So it's, in you. so it's just, like, right in my mind. Yeah. I loved everything that I saw, but obviously when I was there, I only brought one suitcase that I filled up. What were you thinking? Yeah, exactly. I was like, I, like, need a truck. How can I drive a <laughs> truck across the ocean? So, but instead of that, I have this is a new shop to me and I have looked at um, and th this was one of my favorite, especially like the French antiques. And Gorgeous. I thought her prices were really reasonable too. And her shipping, in fact, I have two things on order with her right now. And she worked a out a deal in shipping with me. Oh, nice. So I think that's one thing that's always great is like to, if, you know, if you have a few things, if it's a really high shipping, just, you know, have a conversation and say, hey, could you combine this? Or is there a way to ship this cheaper? Because these are still small shops. You're still yes. dealing with a small shop owner yes. and an yes. actual person. That exactly. You can with. Exactly. All right, a vintage parcel. What do you like about this shop? So I, what I love about this shop. So I love small things, and I love crafting. Like I, and especially using vintage materials in crafting. This is an awesome shop for that. They have, um, they have vintage keys. They have a lot of typography. They have like letter, um, those letter press boards. So they just have like really fun, interesting small things that you could even display, or you could use in crafting. Or things like so that. Detail, very detail very oriented. Very detailed, yes.
All right, kind of quirky too, the way that they, again, the way they style things even in the pictures. Yeah, it's really, really lovely. And honestly, sometimes when I look at some of these shops, I'm really inspired with how they styled it. You know, I might have an, an idea in mind, like I have to have this item because I have this idea, but then I'll look and the way they styled it uh, is really inspiring. And, and you're suggesting this for Halloween decor as well. For sure. One of the things when I was looking at her shop recently is she had like vintage dental modes, molds, which I oh, know. Jennifer Oh. I know, I know, I what? know it sounds... <laughs> I know it sounds like really creepy, but if you are like okay, into no. kind of fun, Halloween, different, <laughs> like if you want to not go to Hobby Lobby and you want to do something different, buy some vintage dental I prove you'd only buy one because seeing more than one, that's where the creep factor <laughs> that's probably went true. through the roof. That's, that's probably hysterical. true. What was the price point yeah, on that? No, seriously, I think it was really reasonable. In fact, sometimes you can look at their past sales. I actually checked it out and she was selling them. So, <laughs> so for sure, there is a market for vintage dental molds. And you know what there will be now is that's a rush to everybody. <laughs> local That's dentist right. to say, hey, you have any mold laying around? Yeah. Jennifer said they'd be great well, for Halloween. Well, and I think it would be kind of fun. Can, Can we paint, paint those? I think you could. <laughs> yeah, all kinds of colors. <laughs> all right, a local shop made your list. That's hysterical. Yeah. Park State Vintage. Yes, okay. So um, one of the things that's great about Etsy is you can search local shops, you know, and so one of the great things about that is like if you do want to buy like a bigger piece, if it's a shop that has like some furniture or bigger items that might be more expensive to ship mm -hmm. um, you know you can actually again communicate with them and and decide to meet up and not not all shop owners will do that but but some will some local so if you lived in California or anywhere that's also an option if you want say a bigger item and you can meet up can I make a verbal yeah. correction Park yes. Street vintage. Park Street yes I signified yes. them in that, in that sense <laughs> what do we like this shop okay. for so this is run by a woman named Erin Hanley love I love her style um, she always finds really unique items and with Erin I always can count on a really great price point so it's like unique item great price point and um, and she's just a really nice lady I love dealing with her I've actually bought quite a bit from her and just in the past, I, I there's a big piece that I bought um, some vintage cubbies that I have in my kitchen. Oh wow! And I just love them so much. I I display things. Look I how cha cool. I change things out. I holiday. Uh, I make them holiday yeah. fun. Yeah. And and I uh, you know I love to display my vintage stuff, stuff that I use. Awesome. But on display. So that's a great piece that I bought Park from her. Park Street Vintage, and she yes. has a pulse on our local market too, she does. which we appreciate. Finally, a shop that blends handmade with vintage. Yeah. So this um, shop is Julie Collins. She is a, a woman out of Springville, and what I love about Julie is she uses all vintage materials, and then she makes beautiful creations. So she, you can buy those things. You can buy the things that she makes on her site, but also just the materials that she uses as well. And so if you're a crafter, if you want inspiration, if you want ideas on how to use vintage materials in your um, in your crafts, that's a great that's a great site. To this go was to. a great list. I think a lot mm -hmm. of people will you know their brain yeah. is now kind of bending in that direction where what could I find online if, if not to purchase to inspire right so, thank you so much when's yes. your next event so my next event is in November it's our holiday show and it's November 3rd and 4th in Provo at the Bright Building we'll plant the seed yeah. early one of the best shows you can yeah. you can check out here locally so we'll make sure yeah. and link people over to your website thank you Thanks. so much